Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Colorado Rockies. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the mound today, Herman Marquez. What's the scouting report on him? He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Here's Trey Turner. Leading off the afternoon for Philadelphia, the shortstop, Trey Turner. The pitch. And that one fouled off. First pitch, 111. Righty to the plate. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Alec Bohm. A big game for him last night. He had four hits in that one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the right-hander deals. And fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. Swings and misses, struck him out. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating. That's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. And he'll won. See the velocity 97 ball, with that right. fastball. And that's down it away. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And there's two down. That is good. The right field. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Collectively, they're swinging the bats really well right now, Chris, scoring a lot of runs. Indeed, it seems to be contagious right now, top to bottom of this lineup. They just seem to be feeding off of one another. One thing I watched in their batting practice is, although they've been scoring a lot of runs lately, they're still paying attention to the details. A lot of balls back up the middle the other way, and that's really the building block for great offensive production. Bryce Harper stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch just missed. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it, and they come away without an out. 
Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Looking to stay hot after yesterday's game. Four for five in that one. And first offering is fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. Foul ball there. Here's the 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And the righty deals. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The 0-2. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Turner on third, Harper on at first with two down. to right Blackman brings it in for the third out Phillies leave a couple and now the Rockies will go on offense for the first time there's no score Major League Baseball is on the show strange wind blowing. It's coming back. welcome back and on the mound today Bailey Falter what do you have on him Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the DH, Yonathan Daza. The wind of the pitch. And that one is inside. And the 1-0 misses low. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Well, you've got to establish the inside part of the plate early, and that sends a message not just to this hitter, but to the rest of the guys in this lineup. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. It's Chuck Nasty. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still oh, prefer cool. something belt high. That missed inside. Three balls and a strike. That's excellent location for a pitch like that. It looks like it's going to be a strike, and then it just runs in on the hands. So if you can command it and hitters have to respect it, just keep going in there until they make you make an adjustment. Now fly ball to right center. Jordan moving to his left. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. One down. That is good. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Ryan McMahon. He's been a solid force for his team right now. Kind of a fire starter when you consider an on-base percentage over 400 over the last 10 games. That's solid, consistent work. He's making things happen for this offense right now. And here is C.J. Crone. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. And first offering is fouled off. C.J. Crone can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run. 
that was one foot shy of the longest homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzara hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504 foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. Here's a one two. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Chris Bryant in the box now. No balls and a strike. Three for seven in the series so far. Not one close one. with that one, and the count is one and one. And there's a foul ball. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if he'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. Fights it off, you'll see another. One, two. Ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together for him. Just a that cookie good. down the middle. I mean, those second are the ones base. you dream about. Ooh, ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So two down. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Two on, two outs. Swing and a pop-up. Turner on his way over. He's got it. And that is out number three. Two left for Colorado. Scoreless after one. And welcome back. And now the veteran catcher, JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto. And he deals. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all star. This guy is fun to watch. The pitch. That's a strike, and it's one and two. A tremendous athlete behind the dish, and this is a guy that probably could play any position on the infield if they needed to, as well as the outfield. He's got great speed as a catcher, can steal some bases, can drive in runs, but most importantly, he takes that pitching staff where they need to go. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Two for eight in the series so far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Now the 0-1. And a big swing and a miss. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Next pitch misses way outside. That one missed. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. Rogers sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. 
And there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Going one. Now oh, one and one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That misses. Oh, and a count two and one. And another ball. Second inning here, no score. On the ground, right side. Gets it to first. That ends the frame. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here in Denver, Randall Gritchick now. Falter, back to work. Ball one, no strikes. That one missing inside. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, and that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Harper has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter, because pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Elias Diaz, batting with one down, takes a strike. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. 0-2 oh now. Good eye right there. One ball, two strikes. That's oh. off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. One down, base is empty. Okay. And he walked him. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Ryan McMahon stands in now and watches strike one. That one finds the corner, and it's not again two. Diaz leads off first with one away. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Lace down the line, could be extra bases. Diaz, round second on his way to third. Throw cut off, now to the plate. The tag, ow! 
lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out of the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. 0 for 6 in the series so far. First offering misses the mark. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Ball. Off the mark there. Two balls, no, no, no strikes to count. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. The Rockies strand one will move to the third with no score. Back here at Coors Field, on to the third inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison. Harrison, a former All-Star. 35 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2008. Bounced out to short. And one away in the top of the third. Trey Turner. Trey Turner at the plate. Doubled in his first A.B. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. He swings and fouls one off. Top of the third, no score. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Jordan. Two outs, runner at first. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. In there and it's 0-1. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a drive. Gritchick going back. Back some more. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Philadelphia. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. Daza hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Boo, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. That one a little bit high, and the count is one and two. Hey. 
at him looking. That's a strikeout. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Now it's Charlie Blackman. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Liner, base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Man at first with one gone. Digging in, C.J. Crone. That's in for a strike. Crone measures six feet, four inches, 235 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Going two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The left fielder, number Here's Chris Bryant now. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Well, boo, Chris Bryant, a kid who accomplished a lot right away getting to the big leagues. Former number two overall pick, won the rookie of the year, was named the MVP in 2016, winning a World Series with the Cubs over a 100-year drought. Man, you can't start your career much better than that. Hammer, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. That one finds the corner. 1-1. One, one. And now the 1. That one pushed foul. Oh, and 2 now. Swing and a miss. And that is that. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Welcome back. Out of the fourth. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper. And a pitch. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. 2-0. That one missed, now 3-0. and oh. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The wide to kick the pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Leading off for Philadelphia. Go ahead, run on base. Now the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Glide out his first time. Chris, one cool nugget on Kyle Schwarber. He has homered in every type of playoff series. A wild card game, a wild card series, a division series game, a league championship series game, and in a World Series. The 
next pitch misses and that's ball two nobody out runner at first and that misses as well JT Real Muto on deck for the Phils one clips the outside corner and that's strike one strike with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here Harper on at first nobody out Swing and a miss, struck him out. He's got to throw any pitch in any count, 3-2. He goes off speed, gets the out. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Over to first, and he saved. And there's a ball. And the 1-0. -oh. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. One ball. Slider Two right strikes. there. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. And the next pitch is way outside. And the right hander deals. And it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty delivers, and that's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you gotta challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, over one so far. Grounder might be two. Good feed, that's one. On the crow. It's a double play. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Back here in Denver, ready to go, bottom four. So in now for Colorado, Randall Gritchick. The pitch. Ball one there. The 1-0. -oh. And that one is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Jordan makes the catch, and there's one gone. The catcher, number 35. And now it's Elias Diaz. Ripped on the ground a second. Harrison fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Doubled his first time up. Out 
to short Turner and that's the third out nothing doing for the Rockies and we're still knotted at zero And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Reese Hoskins. Marquez back to work. And misses inside. You know, these Phils finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Gritchick makes the grab one away. So up next, Josh Harrison grounded out to short his first trip. On the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Right hander kicks deals. That one to first. Crone. And he handles it himself for the out. The batter, number seven. Play Turner. Here's Turner now. One for two. Chris, Trey Turner's turned into one of the best all-around players in the game. You think speed with Trey Turner, but a guy who impacts the game with his slug as well. Into the outfield, base hit. And that extends the inning. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Marquez over to first, oh, and Turner's back in. And now it's going to be Alec Bull. Throw! Save! Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. That smash towards center. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Philly strand one, and we are still scoreless. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Out to short. Zips it across, and that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The batter, number two, designated hitter, Jonathan. Next for Colorado, Jonathan Daza. He's over for one. There's a strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. The 0 1. Fought off foul. The pitch. Ball on that now. And a ball evens the count. And down on strikes. And a couple of quick outs. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Here's Charlie Blackman. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat.
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. That's a strike. And one and one. So the ball really well today. That two-seam fastball has got good run on it. Excellent job of moving it around the plate. Lined into right. Harper makes the catch. And that is that. Rockies are down quietly. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Back here at Coors Field, top six, and now Brandon Jordan. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Got a little base hit to the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Nope. The next offering misses, two and one. it's 2-1. and one. Good eye right there. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Now it's filled up. <laughs> Out to short, Tobar. Slings it across, oh. one up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled like over on it, and beat it into the ground. Bryce. Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper, a former home run derby champ, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first round pick back in 2010. Pitch misses there, and it's 1 0. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Bounce to the right. Rogers. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The batter, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. And now for the Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber measures six feet even, 30 years old now, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. And he grounds one to the right side. Rogers throws the first. That's the third out. So they go quietly there. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. And we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, C.J. Crone. Here comes a pitch. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next pitch Whoa, misses outside. Down. And the count is 2-0. Oh. And a foul ball. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, boot, get back on track. His team needs him. 
Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. There's a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Has some trouble with it. Not in time. He's safe. And that is his 1,000th Major League hit. A nice moment for him. Yeah, anytime you flip the page on a career milestone, it feels really good. You know that number's in front of you for a long time, and you can't get there fast enough. Good for him. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brendan Rodgers. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. On the ground right side. And it's through for a hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. One down. So in now for Colorado, Randall Gritchen. In there for strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The 0-1. Late swing fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. In the dirt, blocked! And an excellent job keeping it right there. And now the lefty. Now Gritchick, swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field, and that one's gone into the bleachers! That fires up the home crowd, and just like that, they're out front. It's 3-0. Chris, we knew this moment was coming for him soon. Yep, and it finally came. We knew it was only a matter of time before he's going to connect with one just like that. Just too good of a hitter at the plate. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. And yeah, the Phillies manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make a move. Bailey Falter out of the game and not his finest start. Never really looked comfortable out there. We'll have a new pitcher on the mound when we get back. On the mound now, Connor Brogdon. He's into the game with the bases empty. Number 75, Connor Brogdon. Now the Rockies catcher, Elias Diaz. Ball one, no strikes. Brogdon measures six feet, six inches, 28 years old. And he was a 10th round pick back in 2017. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Still only one out here in the inning. Lifted in the air right center field. Harper has a beat on it. Two away. Up next for Colorado, the third baseman. Two Ryan. outs, base is empty. Ryan McMahon now at the plate. Ball 
Oh, First my. pitch, and he just misses. Stirring in the Phillies' bullpen, Matt Strom. The veteran southpaw is getting ready to come on if needed. Bellotti getting loose as well. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. One, two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. That one to first. Hoskins oh. steps on the bag, and that is the inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Stepping in, JT Real Muto. The Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And there's the strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a pitch. And takes low for ball one. Tapped up the first base side, Crone. And he takes it himself for the out. The batter, number eight. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Castellanos. And that's in there for strike one. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. That's inside. Two balls and a strike. Righty to the plate. That, that one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Hammer down the line. Could be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. One out, runner at second. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Castellanos over at second, one down. On the ground to third. McMahon fires over to first. Two away. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. First pitch misses for ball one. Runner at second, two down. Shut him down right here. 
Next Bolton. pitch misses, 2 and 0. Oh. And the righty deals. Hammered. And this one could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. The run comes in from second. And it's now a two-run game. And in its second with an RBI double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pole side right there. But he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner with a chance now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The tying run at the plate. Turner pops it up. And they get Turner for the out. And that'll do it. Phillies with the run scoring double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Andrew Bellotti hasn't pitched in the last three days. Andrew Bellotti. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Not shortstop. Ezekiel The pitch in the air out towards left center makes a nice running catch and there's one down now batting the designated hitter next is the designated hitter Yonathan Daza That's in there. Strike one. Swing and a ball popped up, and he makes the catch. Two down. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies. One for three. inside and it hit him well he's just glad they got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball man that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity runner at first with two away next for colorado cj chrome and the slider just misses the 1-0 yeah, that's outside. Yep, that ball went out. Next pitch oh, misses good. inside. And now 3 and 0. Oh. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Blackman leads off first with two down to the inning. There's a strike 3 and 1. Mm -hmm. 
And a swing and a miss. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Pierce Johnson. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Alec Bohm. The pitch. There's the strike. All ones that count. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Grichik on the run. He dives but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The 0-1. That strike right there. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Check swing, appeal to first. No swing, just held it back there. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. And one away. Now it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Here's Harper now. First pitch, just misses. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the 1-0. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Next pitch inside, and that's ball three. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Dying run at the plate. And ball four to a board. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Now a move being made at second base. On to pinch run. Edmundo Sosa. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. One's in there, 0-1. Oh, Movement yeah. in the bullpen, Daniel Bard. The hard-throwing righty is up and loosening. Hit on the ground to the right side. Crone over to yeah. second. What a double play that was. Inning over. One hit, one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead.
It's the Rockies three and the Phillies one. So coming into the game now on defense, Edmundo Sosa. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Bellotti back to work. Upstairs. Right-handed reliever. That one drifts Good inside. Ball. No strike. Had a good I'm eye sorry. there. Here's a 3-0. Hey. Three one, and he nope. couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Bryant aboard here at first with nobody out. That one, one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Struck him out looking. Now this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. To the batter now, Randall Gritchick. He's already homered here in this one. Runner on the goal. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. felt good and they boost their lead it's 5-1 Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So one out, nobody on. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. Ball two. Two and oh. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. 
the 2-1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The, the game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Run around at first with one gone. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. Pitch misses inside, 1-0. and oh. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. That one's in there. And a count, 1-1. One and one. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Strike two. <laughs> Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there are two down. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. I don't know how you take that. That was a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. There, that misses off the outside edge. Last couple of pitches, breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. That ball one three. misses, and that's ball three. Kicks and fires. Late swing, fouled off. Two outs. He goes down looking. But the Rocks bring in two on this big fly. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. New pitcher on now, Tyler Kinley. He last pitched two days ago. Tyler JT Real Muto steps in, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. First offering, and it just misses. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The 1-1. And that one is inside. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it would surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. And he deals. That clips the inside corner for a strike.
3-2 now. And that one is lifted in the air. Blackman settles underneath it. And it's caught for the out. And now the DH, Nick Castellanos. In there and it's 0-1. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Lucas Gilbert. Preparing to come on if needed. Lawrence getting cranked up as well. And the 0-1. Center field. Gritchick drifts towards it. And there's two down. So two down now. And here is Reese Hoskins. In there for strike one. And that's through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Down to their final strike. That's down and in. And another ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Here's a two-two. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Diaz under it, and a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. is just one strike away. Got him looking. That's the ball game. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB 